hey guys welcome to another tutorial in this video I will be showing you how to create custom projectile for your weapon in this case we will use it for an RPG I have already set up all the, the weapon properties and animations just to speed things up if you would like to see how I've done it please refer to the previous tutorial of on how to add a new weapon to your data table so let's go quickly here to the projectile setup and as you can see we have a base projectile so we just browse to the original and we will create a child blueprint we will name it RPG projectile and let's go back to the base projectile and we want to expose some variables so mainly what we need is the impact visual effect to change from different weapons so for a bullet is a small spark whatever but for uh, an rpg it's more of an explosion so what we need to do you have uh, impact visual effect event and as you can see it's by surface type i will make another tutorial how to set uh, different impacts based on surface but for now what we want to do we want to expose this variable we'll just use it for the default we'll promote this variable we'll name it impact via effect uh, as this is generic but you want to name it for based on material uh, down the road which the new tutorial that's coming will be uh, talking about so for now impact visual effect and we could do the same for sound <clears throat> but I'm not gonna do the sound for this tutorial it's the same thing you just expose the variable and set the sound for the explosion all right so compile and then we go back to our data table we will search for RPG and set it there we will open our RPG projectile type and we need to change uh, some stuff so for the mesh we would like to set our uh, RPG uh, mesh rocket and we'll change the size to normal and also the rotation properly as for the trail we want an RPG trail so I have one RPG trail and we'll just set the location 0 0 we'll bring it back somewhere here and then all we have to do next so the trail if you want to set it here you can set it I set it on there so now our, our RPG uh, is set the other thing that we can do is the sound so we want a traveling sound so we could just spawn sound attached and we could look for trail sound we want to attach it to a component so we'll attach it to the mesh perfect all right so now we have the projectile is set if you would like to add a curve to your projectile you just go to a projectile uh, movement and then go to gravity and we could set the gravity of 0 0.2 we will balance it this will give you that curve to your projectile all right next step we have to fix our firing animation and the reload as you can see if i open the fire animation we have the rocket is part of the weapon so when we shoot when we shoot the rocket you'll still see it in the game like that so we need to hide the rocket and show it back on the reload to do this we will create a, a notify so we could just do it here or blueprint and we'll search for a new notify and we will call it pp hide bone notify hide 
that will be there. Let's fix that. Okay. So what we need, we need a received notify. So when we receive this notify, when it's received, we want to create uh, a branch if and we're gonna say we're gonna promote this to a variable we're gonna call it should hide should hide and if it's true what we want to do is hide hide bone and the bone we're gonna hide we're gonna expose this to a variable and we're gonna make this to public and then if if it's false we want to unhide and then connect this to the return value and connect this to this perfect compile now let's go to our RPG firing and we're gonna add our hide bone and then what we need the bone to hide is the equip rocket so we copy the name go to the notify and just like that we should see that it's hidden so now it's hidden when we fire and we want to show it back when we reload so we'll go to our reload montage and here we want iPhone and we want to uncheck this and put the name back again so this time it should show perfect so now let's give this a try and see if everything is good As you can see, we don't see the, the rocket because it's fired. And then if we want to reload, we see it back again. And the trail, sound, everything is good. So as for the explosion, we want to go to a projectile right here and look for impact visual effect. And here we will just search for our explosion RPG explosion compile there you go now you see the explosion reload perfect all right I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.